When you think to the future, you know, both in terms of the devices and the things that we might find, what gets you most excited? Well, I think there are two things, two directions we can go to go well beyond advanced LIGO. And well beyond probably makes, it from initial LIGO to advanced LIGO was a factor of 10 in sensitivity. Because we look at the amplitude of the waves, um, being able to reach out a factor of 10 times further brings a thousand times as many possible sources into our reach. Probably th the next step would be another factor of 10 on ground. And there are a couple of different ideas of how to do that. I mentioned that um, one of the limits to what we can see is the thermal noise. And one thing you could do is to refrigerate the masses down to a, a fraction of a Kelvin, or maybe something not quite as cold to reduce the thermal noise. Another way you can do it, this is a strain in space. If you have a meter stick, um, it will change by 10 to the minus 21 meters when the wave goes by. If you have a 10 meter stick, it will change by 10 to the minus 20, 10 times more. Um, so we have four kilometer long arms to take advantage of that now. If we had, say, 40 kilometer long arms, that would make the signal 10 times bigger without any of our noise sources growing that by that same amount. So there are a couple of ideas that we have for how we could grow um, ground-based interferometers into systems that could reach even further back and say, get to the point where we could see the very first black holes, see all the black holes in the universe. I think, though, the other thing, there was an image up on the screen a little while ago of, a, of a, a constellation of satellites in space. It's obvious that that's an experiment that must be done. Um, it would probe not the same frequency range of gravitational waves, so it's a little bit like the difference between radio astronomy and optical astronomy, but it would be also a place where you can, instead of having a mere 40 kilometer long arm, you could have a million kilometer long arms and have a signal that is that much larger and be able to probe with incredible precision the waveform of the gravitational waves, use it as a use small black holes orbiting around big, big black holes as a way of mapping out the curvature of space-time in more detail. It's an experiment which must be done.